So, good evening everyone. It's currently just gone five and um, my friend's about to pick me up and I'm, I mean you know by the title, about to go pick up my new car. Uh, you might even know <laughs> uh, what it is. I think you will because I've got an idea for the title in my mind. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to pick up a new car. Uh, obviously not new, but it's an exciting car. And uh, yeah, by the time I get back it'll probably be dark. The standard grinding in my videos because of the neighbours. Anyway, um, yeah, so I probably won't film anything when I get back because it'll be dark and I probably won't film anything on the way there because it's pointless, just roads. I might film something on my phone if I'm there, but I'll probably doubt it and here comes the door to slam in face. Uh, but I might do some work on it and add a few bits tonight, uh, but I also won't film that. So it's going to be a very good unfilmed video. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll update you guys tomorrow morning um, with some bits and I might do some work on it or I'm going to see a van, one or the two. Uh, if I go see the van, I obviously won't be um, filming. So yeah, so stay tuned um, and I'll see you either when I get back or when I'm there. So, welcome to the world's worst YouTuber. I have just, it's currently, it's currently 11.05. I started this morning about seven or eight. So, there's Lenny, the car that I went to get last night. Went to get it with my friends, spent ages just chatting with CJ, uh, longer than, I uh, got back at like 10 o'clock or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, here he is, in all his glory. And uh, yeah, I've already put a camper conversion in the back, which is why I said, welcome to the world's worst YouTuber. Because I didn't film any of it. I've got some nice pictures of, just on my phone, of when it was sunny though. So I'll pop them on screen now. Well yeah, here's Lenny. Looking nice and clean. And smart. I've yet to put some cool lights in the front. That was a little extra bit of work. But I've prioritised the camper conversion in the back, of which is pretty much complete. So a big priority for this time when converting the car was um, to make sure I can fit uh, well, a lot of my tools, not all of them, just sort of what I would class as the essentials. So I've got all my woodworking tools there um, and then in the box behind I've got loads of organisers with all sorts of bits and bobs in and then I've got my electrics box and my impact driver in the front there with a socket set. Um, yeah, and then this time we've got a little leisure battery back here and uh, I've got a little solar panel to clip onto it and a little clip on cigarette lighter socket that I'm not using. And then yeah, there's the kitchen which is just really basic. It fits all the stuff and you have this little gap which I never used to have in the last car where I can sit on the sofa, uh, well on the bed, make it a sofa <laughs> with a little headroom. <laughs> uh, that's because of the tools. I could have made it loads less but I prioritised the tools so now I can fit my legs down there. Um, otherwise I was sitting cross-legged on the bed. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. When I fit some cool lights to the car though, I am going to show you that. Um, and I should do that today, but it's looking like it's going to rain. As long as it doesn't rain, I'm going to do it, because it means crawling around on the floor. Um, yeah, it's exciting. But yeah, because it's about to rain, I'm going to put away the tools that I just had out, because otherwise they'll get all wet. Um, and then let's get cracking, and I won't forget you guys, trust me. So uh, yeah, the weather changed quite dramatically just then. <laughs> I'm going to pop to town and do a few bits and bobs. If it clears up, we'll crawl around in the van, uh, um, van, <laughs> under the car, fitting some lights. If not, not to worry, Lenny is pretty cool, he's serving me well, and uh, I'm going to be going to the South Central, so if you're all going to be there, I'll see you there, uh, providing this video comes out before then. Anyway, I'm going to stop standing in the rain, and uh, get going, see you guys later. So, good afternoon everyone. Um, the day has turned out to be a good day, so I'm going to get um, cable tying some lights to Lenny. Uh, I might have to drill one or two holes, but not no, not in sight. I do don't want to damage the car too much. Excuse the wind. Um, so I'll just grab the lights and show you what I'm going to put on. So, what I got is some um, small light, light bars. Uh, they do have the spot and flood as well. Two of them. I decided to go with two of them just for a difference. No other reason. And then I have four flashing lights. 
amber flash flashing lights. That's going to be cool. And then I've got four little circular marker lights. Um, so we'll see how that these work out. I'm not sure how these are going to work. So as you can see, this is the dashboard of the car. And then there, there is like some perfect little switch patches and all these come out independently. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of them out and then drill little holes in them. And uh, worst comes to worst, you can always replace these, I assume, because they're just like switch fillings. So yeah, quite easy to replace. Uh, if you ever wanted it back to normal, which is sort of my thinking with this. Although I'll probably keep this going forever, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so apologies if the wind noise is very loud. Um, it's windy. <laughs> and I haven't got my uh, lav mic on, so yeah. All the ones with this sort of fitting, that's just an M8 bolt. So all you do is just drill an 8mm hole through the car or van uh, and then bolt that through. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So, here we are everyone. I've just bolted it through the bottom of the bumper, um, both of them. As you can see they're both in there. They're a little bit wobbly, but it's too bad. And then these are the, the little amber ones. And I'm just gonna drill a little hole. Because this actually isn't a, this grill up here that you can't see. Um, only the bottom two are vents. This one's just like, blanked off. So I'm going to drill a hole in the back of it, put the cable through, and the cable's going to run up. So, good morning everyone, and um, here we are. Here's Lenny, as you can see, looking good, as always. And, uh, well yeah, look at that. He's got two amber flashing lights down there, uh, up there, sorry. Two more either side, and then four marker lights along the bottom, and then two little light bars. And let me show you how they're powered. So as I showed you previously, here, there is all these little blank switches. I have the rear heating thing. Uh, I could have maybe tried to take that out and put it there, but I didn't. Uh, and then I have the side lights, the marker lights. I have the light bar on the full beam. I have the light bar on without the ignition, so just on. Uh, I have the amber lights. And then here, I can change the setting of the amber lights by, suppose, it's supposed to be a mo momentary switch, but I just put it like that. So you just flick it on and off and it just flicks the settings. Works fine. Um, and then so if we turn Lenny's lights on, turn them over and put on the full beams, let's go have a look. There he is. So that lights out of sync and this one for some reason cuts off when you change the setting. So I need to rewire that, uh, or just have a look at it really. But yeah, other than that, these are so bright. Um, I don't know if CJ did or some the previous owner, put cool white dip beams and main beams in, and he looks awesome. Um, yeah, <laughs> flashing lights, marker lights, yeah. But the only ones road legal are the marker lights, which I will have just to look cool. But the rest of them I just got, uh, well, I'm parked up in the field mucking about. <laughs> Lenny also has an awesome cassette player and uh, believe it or not I do actually own cassettes uh, so currently got one in there and then I've also got one that's got the aux cable so it goes up to my phone um, yeah it's awesome Lenny is doing me proud uh, there was the engi engine management light on which was normal I've now cleared it but I also know the problem it's the engine coolant sensor yeah so I'm very chuffed with Lenny and um, 
I don't know, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I didn't go and see this van. This guy on Facebook Marketplace was like, oh, actually, I don't know if I want to sell anymore. People on Facebook Marketplace, buyers and sellers, are just crap. Um, so I didn't go see a van, but uh, I haven't got a video planned for the next week. So when this video comes out, comment down below if you want to see more of Lenny. I could do a, a camper tour again, or I could do a stealth camping um, video, which I'm quite up for doing. Uh, the weekend after will be the um, South Central meet. So again, as I said, uh, if you're there, it'd be great to see you. Uh, if not, I'm sure I'll see you some other time at the Stratford Racecourse uh, uh, International Camper Fan Show. I'm going to that. Um, in Lenny as well, of course. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if you like this video, do be sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, drop a comment down below, and hit the subscribe button because uh, I want to see you next time. I'm sure Lenny does too. Mm -hmm.